Oh, hello, hello, and welcome to 52 Weeks of Flow, the podcast that delves into the depth of human potential and the transformative power of flow. On this show, we talk about peak performance, flow, energy, and bridge the gap between science and woo-woo. Through authentic stories and real-life examples, my guests and I will help you dive into your superpowers and create your next level of success. My name is Bea Marie Amin, neuroscience geek, flow enthusiast, and your guide to rewilding yourself. I'm on a mission to raise the frequency of the planet by supporting you to untame yourself and step into your flow. Are you ready to make your dreams your reality? My guest today is helping us do exactly that. She is a mind shift coach, an international speaker, a podcast host. She is helping entrepreneurs unlock the extraordinary power of their minds and to realize that they can have all that they dream about and desire. With her unwavering passion and profound purpose, Jane Wareham is committed to empower entrepreneurs to reconnect to their why, gain clarity on their passion and purpose so that they can truly step into their next level by embodying confidence and authenticity. So let's see how we can dive into our dreams and make them our reality. Welcome to the stage, Jane. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. I am really excited to have this chat with you because in today's world, most of the time we forget to dream. We are in this treadmill of working, of hustling, of family, of taking care of parents, of all that kind of stuff that we completely forget how to dream. And if we dream, then we think that dream is so far away and so far off that it's not even worth going for it. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for doing all the work that you're doing. It's incredible. So tell me exactly what you do and what you help your clients with. Yeah. So just like you said, far too often, especially as adults here, we do not take any time to really dream and think about what we really want. So what I've been doing is I realized after working in corporate for 15 plus years that I was really ruled by my circumstance. My life was running me. I was not running my life. And I was constantly seeking more freedom. I was constantly escaping my life taking more vacations. And I really didn't realize that I had the power to change all the things that were happening around me. And I had the power to do so with my mind. So four years ago, I started working with a coach and started to really understand why I didn't have the life that I really wanted. And sure, I had a great life. I had a successful career. I had started my own business. I had all the things on paper that one would think would make you so happy, but I wasn't fully fulfilled and I didn't really feel that deep sense of happiness. I knew there was something more. And I, what I didn't realize is it was my thoughts that were blocking me from actually having that. So this is now what I really work with my clients on. So I work with entrepreneurs. I work with people in the corporate space. I'm really helping my clients truly understand that everything that they want right now in life is available to them. This is a mind shift. This is something to understand. You know, everything is available to you, anyone listening right now, if you'll allow your mind to start thinking that it is. And if you'll also really start to get more clear clarity on what you really want. And, you know, Dreaming is an incredibly powerful thing. And if we don't take time to think about or dream about what you really want in life, then you're never going to get it. That's just really the reality. 
Yeah, absolutely. And while you were speaking, it reminded me of this video that I saw a couple of weeks ago where they said in Christianity, we call it prayer. In Buddhism, we call it meditation. In spirituality or in the spiritual background, we call it manifestation. But what it actually is, we're speaking our dreams into reality. Mm -hmm. And so I really, really love what you just said. It is all in the mind. And I think it was uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza who says, um, you need to shift your mind be to shift your reality. Like when you, yes, when you shift your mind, your reality around you changes. Yep. And let me talk a little bit. Maybe let's take this back a few steps because let's talk a little bit about mindset. Because if you're going to start to want to manifest your dreams, if you want your dreams to become your reality, you need to start to really understand how the mind works. And so one thing, one kind of definition of mindset I absolutely love that Mel Robbins said is that mindset doesn't change the situation that you're in. Mindset changes the way you see or perceive or react to the situation that you're in. So, you know, I'm the mind shift coach. I'm a mindset coach. So it's all about helping you see things from a different perspective, become more aware. Awareness is the greatest agent for change. So if you become more aware of how you can change your reality and understanding, you know, I think one of the harshest things and harshest realities is that when you don't like your circumstance, when you don't like the life that you're living, and when I work with my clients and they're unhappy, I mean, I'm a realist. So um, I, I share with them, you know, your current reality, you've created. Like, you've created it, and it's come to be because of the way that you're thinking. Now, granted, sure, certain individuals may come from different types of upbringings, okay? We may not all be starting on an equal playing field. I understand that. But there are hundreds of thousands of stories where people have completely gone rags to riches, you know, whatever it is. There are so many stories and it's absolutely possible for anyone, whatever it is that you want. And so I think, yeah, that one of the harshest things to think about and to, and to really process is, oh my gosh, I'm unhappy in my life right now. Maybe you're in extreme debt or, you know, you're just not loving your career or you're not in a relationship and you're feeling lonely. And that is a cause of the way that you're thinking. The reason that hasn't changed is because you haven't shifted how you're talking to yourself, what you're thinking about. And, you know, Bob Proctor says, if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. And that's so true. So whatever, and this is why dreaming visualization is so important because once you start to actually allow yourself to close your eyes or even journaling, writing it out, however it works for you, really thinking about if you had every resource available to you now, what would you really want? And I mean, you said it before, we limit ourselves, you know? Another thing, your only limit is your mind. Like I can spit these out. Like it's just things I always think about because really it's crazy. I just interviewed actually on my podcast, my old coach, and she did an activity with us when I started working with her. And it's really goes to show how much our minds limit you. So think about this listeners here. If I gave you a blank check and you could put any amount on that check, how much would you write? And so she did this with us. And I was like, hmm. and I was kind of thinking, well, you know, maybe like a, I was like 100K. I'm like, nah, I'm like, okay, I want a little more. And then I was like, mm, 200K, 250K. You know, it's like at the time I was like, oh, what would be nice? Then people start writing in the group like a million, five million, a hundred million, a billion, like, you know, and it's not about the money, like the money doesn't even matter. But this just goes to show, you know, where you limit yourself and where we truly limit ourselves and where we're comfortable with, because it is a blank check. You could write a hundred billion, like, you know, you literally like you could write whatever you want. Yet we 
we restrict ourselves. And I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure you, you felt this in, in your own life and how, you know, your mind has limited you before as well. Oh man. Yes, absolutely. Um, just a couple of days ago, I actually had that where I had this, I had this real, I had this breakdown where I was just sitting there and I was like, Oh my God, I don't know where you're going. I don't know what to do. I don't know. 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 And then after a couple of a hundred, I don't knows, I, you know, drank my own medicine and thought, well, I don't know is a good place to start from. Mm -hmm. That's a very good place to start from. So if I don't know how to do this the way I was doing it, how about I try something else? How about I just turn around, you know, shift my point of view to something else, change the narrative that I was feeding myself, and within seconds, the world just looked brighter. It didn't look as it's judgment day and everything is going to crash on you anymore. All of a sudden, it was like, oh, there's a solution. And there's a solution. Okay, this solution is not that comfort comfortable. Everything is not comfortable at the moment. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. It's fine. I'm fine. My family is fine. Everything is actually good. We just need to navigate through the rapids a little bit, like navigate the boat differently. So mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. And I probably, probably all of you out there who are listening right now, you probably have experienced that too in, in, in one way or the other, where you felt like this relationship is not not working or this job is not working or something is just not right and you cannot really pinpoint what it is so i would you know i would love to do this experiment with everyone right now you know write yourself a blank check and write on it whatever you want it doesn't need to be money it can also be you know a loving relationship it could be whatever mm -hmm. take that put that in your purse and carry that with you have that blank mm -hmm. check with whatever you want on it. And when it doesn't feel good anymore, when it feels restricting, take it out, write yourself a new check, give yourself the permission to expand. I love that, Jane. Can we, can we continue on this? Like what else, what oh else gosh. can we do? Yes, yes. Okay, so the whole topic here. So let's go a bit deeper into, so this is all about how to make your dreams your reality. So let's break down how you can actually get started because, you know, I certainly hope you've got wild and crazy dreams. I certainly hope that you listening have some crazy dreams that you're like, I don't know how the heck this would even happen in my life. Yeah, exactly. Like my dreams are nuts. Like I tell my boyfriend and I'm like, yo, get ready, like get ready because this is going to happen. So I'm just telling you to mentally prepare yourself for when it does happen because it's going to be pretty awesome. So, but let's just think about this. So Step number one, giving yourself permission to dream, giving yourself space to dream. Now, this is not something that I want you to do, like squeezing in between a meeting or like, you know, the reality might be you have kids at home or, you know, you have a partner or a dog or a cat or something happening at home. You might have a very busy and hectic life. I encourage you, even just five minutes, take five minutes in a quiet place. You know, set the scene for yourself. You can light a candle. I like, I'm all about mood lighting and everything. You can light a candle, you know, lay on your bed. Some, I, I love your background. I'm like getting serious inspiration. I'm like this blank wall. I'm about to change here. I like love the whole thing you got going on there. But yeah, set the scene like actually, because if you're going to and mute and take your phone out of the room, like you can, we do not want you distracted. This is you allowing yourself to really think about what you want. And now sometimes it's going to be hard. You might close your eyes and your mind starts to think about all the things you got to do and everything. So it might take some time to get used to this. But what I really started doing was just five minutes. Okay. Closing my eyes. Like I know my happy place is on a beach. Like if I could go back to 2021, when I started journaling 
daily. And it will literally say that I wake up on a villa on a beach with the ocean breeze coming in, with the sunrise coming up. I'm in the most comfortable bed. It's like, I love mornings. They're so sacred. So it's like, you know, and then I like get a morning coffee. I grab my journal. I go out on a terrace that is overlooking some body of water. You know, like it's beautiful. The sun is coming up. Like it's just, you know, I'm journaling. And it's just so harmonious and peaceful. And I just, it gives me goosebumps thinking about it. I could just like, you can tell if you're watching the video, just my whole like aura changes because I see that. And that is like my dream. And that is my happy place. So I take myself there, you know? And then of course, as I dream about it more and more, it becomes more expansive. Like I think about the type of villa I will be on on the beach, floor to ceiling windows. Like I start to get more expansive, more detailed. I really also will tap into how I feel. So this is what I encourage you to do is this should be a fun experience. This is not stressful. This should not cause any stress. So if you lay down or you close your eyes and you can't get to the place, don't stress about it. Try again another time. You know, this should not be stressful or maybe visualization is not your thing. Write it out. Write down exactly what you want. So step number one is starting to get clear on what you want. Now, this dream is not set in stone. You can change your dream at any time. So, you know, sometimes I dream about my beach villa. Sometimes I dream about my ocean view condo in the city. That is like, I'm not sacrificing. I have an east west view so I can catch sunrise and sunset. Like, it's like, I'm not limiting myself. I got this penthouse, you know, massive terrace. Like, it's like funny because most people would be like, oh, I want like a sunset. I'm like, no, I'm going to have a wraparound balcony that I see it all because I'm like, why would I limit that? Like, I'm not going to. So, you know, you, I have different dreams. So again, just focus on one thing. Think about it. You want to get clear on what you want. This is step one, because if you don't know what you want, how will you ever get there? And the whole thing is your dream is like a beacon of light in the distance. It's like the horizon. So your your goal is really just to, you'll continuously grow as you start to work towards your dream out in the distance. Like your exact dream will likely, it will come to fruition if you work towards it, but it's probably going to look different than what you originally visualized. And so you just use it as a guiding light. So step number one is getting clear on what you want. Now, Bay, you said a very interesting thing about kind of like how, you know, when you were talking, when you got stuck and you're like, okay, how am I going to do this? Well, I've done it like this. It didn't really work. I need to try something new. So step number two, after you've spent time really thinking, getting clear on what you want, and I do encourage you repeatedly do this. Like I was reading my dream every night before bed, and this is something I'm going to start doing again. I'm going to reevaluate my dream and make it bigger and then read it before bed every single night. And then step number two is this is a mind shift. Okay. So we get so caught up in how, so you're like, okay, great, Jane, I've got this awesome dream. How the F am I going to get there? Right? Like how, how am I going to do this? It's so far from where I am today. I just don't see how it's possible. Like I've got kids, I've got this, I want this, I don't have money. Like, you know, it's never going to happen or just the belief it's not going to happen for you. What you need to start thinking and understanding is the how is none of your business. And this, again, from a spiritual sense, you know, and you may need to listen to this a few times and, you know, brush up on some and learn more about these things. But okay, so the how is none of your business. And what I mean is whatever it is you want in life, whatever you freaking want, that check, whatever's on it is already yours. It's available to you right now. You just don't realize it. And it's not, you don't see any of it yet. So we get caught up in what we see around us. You don't see anything. So then you get stuck in where you're at. You're like, well, I don't see it. So it's not going to happen. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So whatever it is, higher power, God, like divine universe, source, whatever it is that you believe in or start to believe in from this day forward has their own timing for you. So this is the hardest part because I'm an inpatient person. And so this is the hardest part. 
So why the how is none of your business is if you continuously think about your dream life, you get clear on what you want. Then when you know the how, you're not getting caught up in how am I going to get there? That's going to stress you out because you're going to be like, how, how? I don't know how. You're going to think about who. Who do you need to be to have that dream? So if, for example, I want to be on a beach villa running my business from anywhere in the world, well, then I know I need to have a remote business. I need to have a virtual business that I can take anywhere. I'm going to be some boss queen, you know, living in my villa. But I start to think about, okay, who do I need to be to have that life? Like if I want that dream, who do I need to be? Well, firstly, I need to make sure that everything I do or for the most part is going to be virtual. Because if I start doing like anchoring myself in a certain place, it may limit me from being able to do that. You know, if I want to have that booming business, a big thing, like I have these, what I call now my millionaire non-negotiables. This is the basic things to grow a business that I was not doing because it's not the fun stuff. Like who wants to do that? Right. But how are you ever, how am I ever going to get to millionaire status and build my business if I don't have the basics? So I started to realize like, okay, yeah, future me is going to have people helping her do that. And yes, I do have a VA who helps with my podcast, but you know, it's like right now in the early stages of my business, I have to do that. I have to do the work. I have to put in the time for that. So I'm like, okay, who do I need to be? I need to be someone that prioritizes these things if I want that. So what you end up doing is the who do you need to be to have what you want is really helping you. It's like almost with that guiding light, it's, it's helping you when you're making decisions. Like when something comes up, maybe you're thinking about a new job. Maybe you're not happy in your job. You want a new job. You're thinking about your dream life. You're like, I'm not doing this job. So the more and more you think about your dream life, the more you get into the feelings of it, you're going to be like, okay, well, who would I need to be to have that new life? Well, maybe I would, you know, seek out new jobs. And again, it's just through changing your thought process of consistently thinking about your dreams and getting into how that feels that you're naturally going to want more of that. Like you're going to want to get there. And so you're naturally going to start to, you know, move in that direction and take those actions. And if you just trust another challenging part is trusting that it's going to happen for you, not in your timeline, in universe, source, God, whomever's timeline, like that, like unwavering belief, you know, it's like, that's so hard. But where, you know, when you start to either get into communities, work with coaches, when you when you're in a community like a mastermind or in a supportive community or working with a coach, then you start to see like they'll hold the belief for you. Like my coaches held the belief for me before I ever believed for myself that it would actually happen because I'm doing the daily grind. I'm, you know, you're planting all the seeds. You're not seeing anything grow. It's taking forever. You're starting to lose patience. You're losing maybe motivation. You're getting frustrated, similar to maybe what you had the other day where you were trying something, you know, like, oh, what do I do? Like, this isn't working. And, you know, it's like when you have that support system, then that helps you to hold the belief for you, to cheer you on while you're not seeing the results. But I mean, this is what sets true on like successful entrepreneurs apart from the other ones, they just know that you're not always going to see the results that, you know, you want right away and that you have to be patient. This is a lot. I know. So focusing on who you need to be to have what you want, who is that person? And another piece to tap even deeper into that, that's almost, this is really kind of talking about embodiment here is, okay, so you've got clarity on your dream. You're figuring out who you need to be. One simple way to start like defining who is think about your goal, like what you really want that dream. And then think about what your future self, when you have that dream, you have it. What would you be thinking? How would you be feeling? And what would you be doing? And as you start to tap into all of that, 
this is the embodiment piece. So you're like, okay, well, I would be, you know, if I'm that person living on the beach villa, I'm certainly probably not stressing about finding clients, right? I'm thinking clients come to me with ease. I'm thinking, you know, I attract all the wealth and abundance that I know I need. The money's always there. You know, you think, I think about where my mindset would be as that woman. I can run my business from anywhere in the world. I'm speaking on global stages, all of these thoughts. And then I'm feeling when you're, if you're thinking all these things, like money's coming to you with ease, money's flowing into your bank account, clients are coming to you effortlessly, you know, based off your energy, like you're speaking on global stages. I'm feeling freaking amazing. I'm feeling powerful. I'm feeling empowered. I'm feeling impactful. That's like a strong word for me, impactful. And then it's like, what would I be doing? I'd be showing up. I'd be talking about what I do. I'd be trying to connect with as many people because I'm changing lives by helping you shift your mindset. I'm potentially helping you truly make your dreams come true. Like what a gift. I'm like, oh my God, how amazing is this? Why wouldn't I want to talk about it? You know, it's like, I'm going to networking events. I'm meeting other people. I'm doing things like this with you. So it's like, you think about what you'd be doing and then it's like, okay, that's my future self. How can I do some of that now? Like I can think like that right now. I can start thinking. It's just a thought. I don't need to actually change anything. I can start thinking like that. I can start feeling that way. If I want to feel free, for example, I go out in nature. Like I want freedom in my life. And so if I'm feeling trapped in my one bedroom apartment, I get outside. I go outside where it's expansive, where there's nature, abundance. And where I feel free, I go by the water. So this is all ways that you can start to bring what you want, your dream into your current reality. So you can start shifting the way that you feel and then start taking those actions. That was a lot. I mean, I hope you're all taking notes because that one, there's a lot in there. Oh God, I got goosebumps. I'm sitting here like, if, if, you, if you're just watch, uh, just listening to us and you hear this, the whole time that's me snapping because this is like i'm i'm here everything that jane is just saying everything that you're saying at the moment is like resonating and i'm like yes 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 why is not everybody talking about this so i'm so glad that we're talking about this right now here and you said that there i know there's a lot so if you're listening right now and your mind is already blown we're gonna blow your mind a little bit more so <laughs> Right. Think about it. Think, think what you, how you want to become the person or think about what, who you need to become, then what you need to think, what you need to do and pull that into the reality that you're in right now. I know there are a couple of um, left brainers listening to this as well. So if you're thinking this is all woo woo right now and there's no proof or this is, this is all, you know, Let's talk about that a little bit oh, because it, it, it is physics. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is so good. And on, honestly, though, I am a totally rational, logical woman. And I know that when I started working with my first coach and she started talking about these concepts, and you know different dimensions that we're living in and it was like a bit over my head like i was like what like 3d 4d 5d i'm like i don't really understand all this and then also just how manifestation works and like divine timing and all these factors i was you know i was just like when is my time that's all i wanted to know is like when is my time for my <laughs> dreams to actually happen and, but like from one very logical woman to you listeners, you know, let me just share with you an example of how I truly manifested something and it literally started from a thought and I'll guide you through it and it'll help you to understand how getting clear on what you want is going to help you really make things happen in your current life. And it's the Thrive, it's the Women Thrive Summit that um, we spoke at in February. So last summer, I had been writing affirmations out in my journal. And I knew that I wanted to continue to travel around the world. And so one day I just thought, how 
cool would it be to speak on global stages? So this is like daily affirmations I'm writing out, like I'm stepping into my next level, like I'm trusting my intuition and guided to make wise decisions, like I'm attracting abundance every day, like whatever it was that I was writing out. And I thought, how cool would it be to like, I'm speaking on global stages. I'm like, I'm going to start writing this. I probably wrote that affirmation every day for like three weeks. It was just included in maybe my 10 affirmations I'd write out. And then one day, just like three weeks later, I thought, okay, so obviously I planted a seed and I started to think about it and it was going to my subconscious and I hadn't acted on it. But I thought one day I just thought, how would one even get on global stages? And so I Googled speaking on global stages. I actually had to Google, how do you find speaking engagements? Because I didn't know, like, you know, and then it, I found said like, call for speakers that you could do. Because I never did anything like this. Like, I come from corporate. Like, I had a, my business started in fitness, like, which we didn't talk about. But, you know, I just like, all this stuff was new to me. So I, I you only know what you know. So I was Googling it, literally. And then I Googled, women empowerment and like women's summits and events and speakers. And I came across Women Thrive. And I was like, interesting. So I was like, okay, this is kind of crazy. And then, you know, I just found it and I didn't do anything with it yet. I wasn't ready. I was like, whoa, okay. And then, you know, I click on the application and it needs like your your talk title, like all these things. And I'm like, I thought like, I don't know. I'm like, what would I talk about? And so, um, Long story short, I eventually applied. And then, um, you know, within like a week later, I applied. And then I got an email back saying that they were selecting me for an interview, which was also like another thing I was like, like, oh, God, this is for real now. Like, can I do this? Like, well, of course I can. But I'm like, like, this is it. Like, if I get if I get selected, like this is crazy. So then I did the interview, I get selected on the spot. And I'm speaking at a global summit. I'm speaking on global stages. And this all took place like over the span of, let's say, about a month and a half. And it all started with one single thought. One thought. And now there's other things I'm manifesting. They're taking, you know, and I'm thinking about they're taking a lot longer. And of course, you know, everything has its own timing. So that's completely fine. And I'm happy to be patient for that while all these other amazing things unfold in front of me. So really like this is, and again, you know, a, this speaking on a global stage could be you wanting a relationship. Like that's another thing for me as well is like a relationship. I met someone two months ago and it's like my literally soul partner like it's you know I'm 39 I've been in relationships like multiple year relationships and then dating for a while and I got clear on what I really wanted and I like wrote out what I really sought out in someone I didn't have exact visual like I didn't write out exactly how he looks but I wrote the qualities that are important to me I wrote everything that I wanted like the things that I knew that didn't work before and exactly what I wanted and then I put good energy out and What's interesting is, and I actually did a post about this because I always knew I would meet someone like, and I, I was in no rush. So I'm like, I'm just going to enjoy dating. I'm going to, and I, sure. I met some amazing, I started to meet some really amazing people. You come across some duds, you know, and it's just like, that's cool. It's like all a part of the journey. And I what's so wild is I always knew I had firm belief that I would meet someone at some point. And the timing was going to be perfect. It's interesting how patient I was when it came to finding a partner that I didn't have any patience in my business. Like I just wanted things now, like happen now. And when I met yeah. my boyfriend, Jay, it's like when we met and I am so happy that like I kept meeting these very interesting people, but they weren't quite it. So I'd release it, create space for something better. I'd learn more about myself. I'd learn more of what I want get clearer and clearer and clearer on what I wanted. And then I met Jay. And then it was like, whoa, like I was like, holy, this is insane. We're so similar. Our birthdays are a day apart. I'm like, maybe that's what I was missing all along. I just need another Aquarius. But you know, it's like, uh, we, we met and, but again, you know, it's like, this is the same thing, like manifesting what you really want, making your dreams a reality. Like I, I thought about the type of man I'd want in my life. 
And there he was. He came and also too, you had to be ready to receive it. Like I was ready for it. I was like, okay, okay. I'm not going to sabotage this one. Like that I'm ready for this. And you know, again, like this can happen in any, anything that you want in your life, you can make happen, but you have to change how you think. Like you have to start changing how you think. Yes. Oh, I love this. And it gives me goosebumps. I love how you really got specific and that you also didn't, you know, hold, held on to that. Like, because I always say, I want that or something better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because like you said, in, uh, a little bit, like a couple of minutes ago, you said, um, most of the time, what we wish for will not turn out the way that we see it. So, and then sometimes we miss it because it didn't turn out the way we, you know, mm -hmm. we said, I want to, well, I wanted a blue car. Now I'm winning a green car. I don't want that car because I wanted a, a, a I wanted a blue car. But we don't see the beauty of us manifesting a car, for example. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, that's such a good example. Always, like, and so good. No, please go on. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a great example. And you made me think about something as well, like that you're, we cannot hold on to a specific outcome. So what you exactly what you said, if you're, if you want a car, like you can think about, you know, you might want a certain type of car, sure, you might want, you might want a blue car, whatever, you know, but you have to be available for it to come to you in ways you didn't even imagine. And that's why the how is none of your business, because if you focus on one way, you're limiting yourself to all the other ways that it could happen for you. And then, so yeah, you really need to not like, I know I want to have a, I, I want to bring in a million dollars in my business. You know, I can think about many ways in which I could do that. And I'm going down certain paths. I'm exploring certain paths to do it, but you know, I could sign a, a client. They could be like, this, or I could, you know, inherit a million dollars. Like there's so many ways that it could happen and you have to be available and ready for it to happen in any possible way. Because otherwise, if you put tunnel vision on just one way, then I mean, it, it could certainly happen for you that way, but it could have happened much faster if you had been open and available for it to come into your life that way. Absolutely. And I have one more story that I want to tell to that about that, because I manifested winning in the lottery. I was like, I'm going to win in the lottery. You know, I, I want to be, you know, financially independent. I want a lot of money. So I'm going to win in the lottery. And so I did play, you know, I did have like my numbers down. I was like, yes, I'm going to win in the lottery. I'm going to win in the lottery. I was doing, you know, I was feeling it. I was dancing it and everything. And then the day came. I was patient. So the next day I looked up, I looked up the numbers and everything, and I did win the lottery. I won seven euros. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> because I did not say what I wanted. You know, I just said how I wanted it. I wanted to win the lottery, but this doesn't, you know, it. It doesn't mean, you know, I didn't say I want financial independence or I want I want a million dollars or I want and I didn't leave it open to how it would come to me. I manifest. I said the how. And the lottery and the lottery God said, here you have it. Seven euros. There you go. Oh, my God. Because, you know, so money. It, at first I was I was I was so frustrated because I thought I have done everything right. I have thought about it. I have felt it. I have dreamt about it. I have done everything. So why? Oh, because I was focusing on the how and mm -hmm. not on the what and mm -hmm. who. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. And I guess the, the final piece, and this is something too that um, we're going to be offering to everyone in the show notes, but the final piece that comes is really critical that comes into play when you're really manifesting and trying to make what you really want your reality. So you've gotten clear on what you want. 
you're figuring out who you need to be to have what you want, you need to take actions like that person. And that can be really scary. And so when you go to take these new actions, because you're continuously stepping into a new version of yourself, and that's the beauty of having a goal. A goal is not designed to hit. A goal is really all about the growth that you have leading up to it. You will have multiple versions of yourself. If you continuously set small goals, big goals, whatever it is, you're going to continuously grow. It's all about the growth leading to your goal because you're like, like we said before, you know, you might, if you ask me what I want in five years, I, I literally can't even tell you because my mind is not capable of dreaming big enough. Like, you know what I mean? Like I, it can dream big enough, but I'm not even capable of processing what's going to happen. And I already know the next six months are going to blow my mind. So it's like, I can think about what I want in the next year, where I want to be in the next year, but like really like five years from now, like that's, I can't think about that exactly. I don't know what that's going to be. But as you start to take steps or as you're like, okay, so you have to think about manifesting. You have to think about what you want. You got to get into the feelings of it. If you don't take action, it's not going to happen. We cannot wish and hope for our life to change. You have to take action. I call it inspired action. Common phrase used. I love it because you're inspired by your thoughts and your feelings. You're thinking like your future self. You're feeling like your future self. You're going to start taking actions like that person. And so the hardest part is your fear. Your fear, your doubts are going to creep in. And they are going to tell you you're not going to succeed. They are going to tell you it's going to be hard. They are going to try to stop you because your, your body and mind want to stay in a comfort zone. Why would we want to be uncomfortable? It's completely natural to stick to where you're comfortable. So this is something that you're going to have to start facing. And this is where things get uncomfortable, but this is where you'll have like immense growth, immense growth. And we're going to be sharing a tool with you that's going to help you do that so that you can work through your judgments, work through your self-doubt. Because it's never going to go away. And this is something my clients always say. Like, they're like, okay, I can't wait till I don't have this self-doubt anymore. I'm like, girl, you're going to have new self-doubt. Like, you know, I have self-doubts. I've worked through them. And so it's like, we all have them. And every time you step up, like you were saying, babe, so many amazing things are happening for you. And then, you know, you reach a point, you're like, oh my God, this has happened. Oh my God, can I do this? Like, okay, like, well, uh, you know, we get afraid. And then of course we have a lot of, Self-doubt and judgments stem can go way back to the way that we were raised, limiting beliefs. And so, you know, in this in this tool that all that you you're all going to get access to, you're going to learn how you can ma- I say mastering your judgments because you'll start to see that okay, you can shift your perspective on your judgments. You might have fears and doubts that you've held on to for 20 years. You can change that. You have the power today to look to take a step back look at things from a different perspective and create an empowering new belief. And it's by creating these new beliefs, which are basically like the affirmations I was writing out. I am speaking on global stages. When I'm writing out this new belief, I'm writing it as if it's already happened. Like it's, it's already mine. And I was writing, I was speaking on global stages before I even was, had even applied to speak on a global stage. But this was a new belief I wanted to start holding. I wanted to start believing. And so you you write that as if it's already happening. And so you'll create, while you watch this uh, free training, you'll create your own empowering new truths, which can truly change your, will change your life. And I give a very specific example around feeling like a failure in the first couple of years of my business and how Mm -hmm. I shifted that to believe that success is inevitable for me. And it wasn't easy, but I, I, I guide you through that specifically example in my life. And it's come, it's completely shifted everything for me from sure. Some days I still feel like things don't work out and you question, you know, you question yourself, you question what you're doing, but because I, planted that seed of success is inevitable for me. I watered it. I believed it. I found proof of it. I always find proof of it. Smallest proof, right? Someone even just says, oh my God, I love uh, like 
what you wrote here, you know, like in a post, like, oh, this really resonates with me, whatever. It could be the smallest thing. It's like, I know I'm successful. And again, I'm like, the universe has their timing, you know, I got to be patient. What I want wants me, but this is a key piece. So, you know, I'm telling you, you're going to face, if you're not feeling fear, if you're not feeling any self-doubt, you're probably living in a comfort zone and you could do more. Like you could push yourself further and you could reach, you could reach for something a little bit further and better yourself and grow into a newer version of yourself, which will be more aligned to your, your dream life. Yes, yes, yes. And everyone, the beautiful, the beautiful gift that Jane is gifting us all is mastering your judgment and rewriting your truth. The beautiful tool that she was just talking about. So I am very mindful of time. So I'm so, 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 so thankful for everything that you have shared here. Like this has been a masterclass in itself. I have one more question. And we have been talking about dreams for the whole episode now. So when, if, you have a lot of dreams, you said. If your dream could become a reality today, if you just speak it out, what would that dream be? Okay, so I I did touch on it um, before. So my my dream, if I could have it today, like wake up and tomorrow, or have it today, tomorrow, it's like happened. Um, I would definitely be in a beautiful villa overlooking the ocean. And I will have a team of women working with me because I really want to empower other women. So I'll have a team of women supporting me and my business. And I will be living the most calm, peaceful, harmonious life, working just a few very small hours a day, but truly living the adventurous life, the cultural life, the, you know, having the health and well-being that I want to have um, and, you know, living in a beautiful tropical place. I do imagine myself as well living there and having like two lives, city life and uh, and a beach life. But if I could have that today, like that is my that is my ultimate. And I think really I love mentoring and guiding and empowering. So knowing that I can't build my empire alone, you know, I'm like keeping tabs on certain people that I would love to have on my team when the time comes. So just knowing that I could build that empire and live that happy, harmonious life with my partner, that's it. Ooh, I love that. To make it more specific, is this your villa is that rented is that just you know you wake up in a after a party in a in a strange house that you really love like that's a good question <laughs> um okay so i do imagine that i will own multiple properties so because i do like to explore and travel a lot so it's like i toy on the idea of like owning but then i was like well i could own more than one so I'll own one in a bunch of different countries. And then, um, yeah, so it would it would be mine. Um, yeah, may, maybe there'd be like a dinner party, but no, no crazy parties. Um, but yeah, definitely mine. One of multiple homes. Okay, wonderful. Because when you were talking, I was thinking about my lottery win, you know, it's like this. <laughs> I could, I, I will wake up in a villa. Yeah. But whose villa is that? The creepy guys from next door or anyway. Oh my God. Jane, so thank you so, 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 so much. <laughs> thank you so thank much you. for coming on and sharing all of this with us. And also for the beautiful gift that you are gifting our listeners here. Woo. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was such a blessing. All right. And that's it. That's it for today. That's our show. Thank you so much for tuning in and staying with us until the end. I'm giving you a virtual high five right now because you have listened to this incredible 
episode and hopefully took notes. But if you didn't, you can just re-listen to the episode as much as you want. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then reach out on my email address, bea at superwoman.coach or send me a DM on Instagram. All of Jane's contact info will be in the show notes. So you please reach out to her, send her some love because I think this episode was mind blowing and absolutely incredible. And stay tuned for more amazing guests that are coming your way on the 52 Weeks of Flow podcast. And until then, keep shining, keep learning, keep growing and keep flowing. <laughs>